I found an octopus in a den at the end of January and I thought, oh, this is cool. I hope it stays here. The very next week I came back and it turned out it was a female that had laid eggs in the previous week from the first time I saw it to the second time I saw it. Her arms kept sweeping across all of the eggs and she watched over everything. And so I thought, well, I'm just, I'm going to come back every week if I can. And so I started a routine of at least every two weeks, if not every week, going and visiting this octopus, which I eventually called Olga the octopus. And I watched her take care of her eggs and I watched the eggs mature. And there it was, I started in January and over the months, I watched the eggs get eyes and then the octopus start to turn white. And at the end of August, um, the eggs were almost completely hatched. Little tiny, tiny, tiny uh, octopuses swimming around. And Olga was just barely moving. And the last time I went to see her, the eggs were hanging in disarray in the background and she had come most of the way out of the hole. And I put my hand out and one of her arms came over and laid on my hand. And it was the last contact. It was goodbye. I had been there so many times at that point that as smart as octopuses are, I'm sure she recognized and could tell me from other divers who had also been there. So that touched me a great deal to see that major ending of life cycle for a female giant Pacific octopus. She was, she was just a spectacular animal. And um, I got to be there with her. <laughs>